Hi, so um, today I'm gonna answer a question I get a lot about pixel sorter, which is how to mask the effect. Um, pixel sorter is designed to always output in the in the um, resolution of the of the layer. So whether you mask a region, it's gonna affect those pixels, but the resulting output would be wide and high as your base layer. So how do we create a mask on the effect? How, how do we apply the effect not to the whole screen, but for only one portion? Um, one example of that is uh, the work by uh, Giacomo Carmagnola, which is a very nice artist uh, who's been doing pixel sorting images way long before pixel sorter. And uh, one of his famous one is uh, this Greek sculptor here. Um, so that's what we're gonna create. Um, actually, we're gonna create this um, final image. So first, uh, I just went uh, on Google Images and found this guy, which I think looks uh, interesting. Uh, there's a lot of details and the lighting is also interesting and similar to this picture. Bringing it in After Effects, um, I'm going to put it in a new comp and we'll call it Base Image. Duplicate it. And I'm going to apply AE Pixel Sorter on it. Um, so right away I see that I want to affect shadows here. So I want this area here and the neck and maybe the eye to be affected. So I'm going to change the mode to shadows and crank the threshold a bit so I get pixel sorting in the in the shadows. Which is cool, but like it's been done quite a few times and like how, how can you push it further and make a final image which looks like this? Um, one of the interesting thing he does is he recreates kind of the shadows and highlights over the pixel sorting effect, creating depth and a bit of like the illusion of 3D in the in the image. So to do that, first, um, pixel sorter is very nice with noise and and a lot of variation, pixel by pixel in the image. It's always nice to add noise to our image. So I'm going to add a fractal noise, which right away the blending mode I'm going to be using overlay. So my no I can see my noise over the, uh, the image. I'm going to crank up the contrast a bit and maybe brighten this down. And the opacity is maybe a bit intense. So my goal here is to create even more variation in the image, so pixel sorter can respond to that very nicely. Um, right away, if I put the AE pixel sorter plugin after the fractal noise, we can already see that the result has changed and is already less less uh, soft and, uh, and uh, even. The goal is really to create enough noise that AE pixel sorter hits the threshold value and start again drawing a line after that threshold value. So, on top of my fractal noise, I'm gonna add a simple noise effect. So I'm gonna turn off AE Pixel Solar, put it at the end. Um, I'm not gonna use color noise, I'm gonna use uh, black and white noise, and I'm gonna add the noise like this. If I turn back AE Pixel Solar again, and play with this noise, maybe with the threshold as well, Okay, now I'm gonna, I'm starting to uh, see those nice repeating pattern of pixel sorting. So here it's just a matter of playing with the values, uh, maybe the complexity as well, maybe the transform. Yeah, so we're starting to get interesting textures, and we see like right away because of the the way pixel sorter uh, layers the, the, the pixel in order, we can already have the illusion of shadows and highlights created by depth of the lighting, so which is very nice and matches the, the base uh, image. 
Um, one thing we can do is to change a fractal type from basic to something like smeary. And it's just a matter of uh, adjusting the values so it looks nice. I'm starting to like this and it's becoming a bit similar to uh, to our pixel sort here. So the next step is how to mask it so it affects only one portion of the image. Um, I like the fact that it affects the eye, the neck over here. If I look back at, at the um, original base image, the nice thing is to affect only shadows and shadows in the lighting as well. So what I'm going to do is duplicate my base image. I'm going to solo it and activate the alpha toggle here because I'm going to luma key it. And if you guys are searching for the luma key, it's now in obsolete luma key. And quickly it gives me the ability to key out brighter pixels adjusting the threshold and I'm gonna keep yeah only this region here maybe feather it a bit and I'm gonna mask this I'll keep the eye maybe a bit of the air and adjust the feather a bit so this will be my region where pixel sorter will be applied. I can turn that off and I'm going to use my base image keyed. I'm going to rename it, rename it AE pixel sorter so I know where the, the effect is. I'm going to track mat, alpha mat my base image. So this way I'm starting to have a nice region here with pixel sorter applied. And the next thing I want to do is add even more lighting to it because it's still a bit flat over here, I find. One good thing to do is to put back the original lighting of the image on top of it. So I'm going to duplicate again my base image, put it on top. I'll call it shadows. Um, I'm going to solo it again. apply levels and what I want to do is key out the the highlights so they are pure white and maybe contrast a bit the shadows. I'm gonna blur this thing a bit. And this is my shadow map of the image which I'll put in multiply mode on solo it. And right away we see that it puts back the original shadows over the image. Maybe that's too much. This is better. And again, it's just a matter of selecting regions that we like here especially. Okay, so right now I have a great preview, so I can go back into my AE pixel sorter layer and play with. Um, I can play with the threshold of AE pixel sorter still, but when you found like a nice balance between lines and shadows and highlight, um, that's pretty much what you need to do with with, with the plugin. Plugin reacts well to noise and contrast, so it's more a question of playing with what comes before than playing with the plugin itself. So in the noise and fractal noise, those are my settings that will affect the look more than those settings here. So the amount of noise can change a lot of things. The rotation of uh, my fractal texture, the scale, like here it's becoming more detailed. Maybe it's cool, maybe not, I don't know, maybe bigger is better. Actually those small ones are not bad. And uh, you can play with the contrast. So again, 
this is only to add texture and noise and variation into the luma values of the original image. The noise adds even more variations and grain and a pixel sorter is just at the end outputting the result. So after that, just have to add an adjustment layer, I'll call it CC, um, duplicate my mask, which is only my um, image keyed, and I'll apply the adjustment layer as a mat, put the level again, and I've got, got a dark, darkened regions here. And what I want to do is uh, kind of recreate the natural shadows of the image on top of it. So yeah, that's about it. That's the uh, one of the example of what you can do with AE Pixel Solder, but remember AE Pixel Solder works, works very well with other plugins and other settings. Uh, you just need to give it a nice input and play with this input so it does its thing. Alright, thank you very much and uh, have fun using the plugin and uh, keep me posted of uh, what you're doing with it, please. Bye bye.